Hey everyone, welcome back to How To Be A Poser. Today we're going toe to toe with the galaxy's deadliest hordes. To do that, we'll be using the Bucky Barnes six scale figure from Avengers Infinity War by Hot Toys. Let's get started. All right, here he is, the Bucky Barnes six scale figure by Hot Toys from Avengers Infinity War. Still in his box, exactly the way he's gonna come to you. Comes with a wide assortment of hands, this awesome gun that every space-based raccoon wants for his collection, and a disintegrating mechanical arm. I really can't wait to see what I can do with this guy, so let's get rolling. All right, here he is, Bucky Barnes out of the box, ready to be posed. Uh, I think for this one, what I want to do, and I know it's going to be on the nose and very obvious, but I really want to use this disintegrating hand. So I've not laid eyes on this mechanism, but it seems pretty straightforward. So I'm just looking at this. I'm just going to carefully wiggle it until it pops out. Boom. All right, so here's the disintegrating arm. Just going to go ahead and shove this right into that little socket. That went in with ease, everyone. Yeah, that's very, very straightforward, very easy to do. All right, uh, part two for this setup is going to be getting the pistol grip or the gun grip hand in place. So I'm just gonna, again, gently rock back and forth with those pegs not, so as not to break them. And that was actually easy peasy on the pegs, guys. Um, love it. All right, what have I got next? Let's just go ahead and shove his knife down here in the sheath. Boom, so now he's fully dressed. The gun has two parts that need to be installed. Now on, there's this uh, port, there's a little door on it that you need to open up. I've never seen that on a gun before this, it's kind of cool. But uh, once you get that open up, then just slide it in and you're good to go. The uh, sight, for those who don't want to have to look at reference material and in order to determine which way is front, um, Hot Toys has very kindly made two different size pegs. Each peg is proprietary to a specific keyhole on the weapon itself. So this sight is going to be towards the front as dictated by those keyholes. And there it is, it's in. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get that rifle into his hand. Yeah, this is pretty easy. The, f the fingers are very pliable. I just want to make sure I've got that finger in the trigger guard. All right, so let's check this range of motion on this arm. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. Very, very cool. Um, I want to get it up there pretty high because in the, in the film, if you're going for film accuracy, which I don't normally really care about, I'm going to try to do it with this one. Um, let's see, the peg is pretty much where I need it to be in order for it to rotate the direction I want it to go. So let's get it up here. In the film, I know that he had the gun slightly back. Let's see what I can do with this neck joint. Okay, it's a double jointed neck, that's good. So that tells me I can push this bottom part forward, which gives me a bit more clearance. Your first thought on this pose is that you're just going to need to have him looking at the arm, but there's a bit more to it than that, and we'll get to that here in a second. But let's get his head tilted down like he's looking at it. Now, he was walking towards Steve when all of this, when this disintegration thing started going down. So I'm going to lead with this foot and bring the other foot back. Now, kind of noticed the way that I did this, the way that I brought both of his legs together. That's screen accurate. That's exactly how he was doing it. And there was just this kind of nice little curve to his body that he'd created. And let's give it a twist away from the arm. That's okay, but his feet are a little bit too close together there. It doesn't look like he's walking. It looks like he's, if he, and if he is, it looks like he's taking baby steps. So I really, would really like it if I could just have that back heel off the ground and just fine tuning at this point. This is mostly good. I think that I kind of want to move his arm out just a touch. There he is. Bucky's friendship with Captain America spans an unnatural combination of life, death, and time. Imagine Cap's horror at having to watch his friend not only die again, but cease to exist entirely. This figure allows you to capture that moment perfectly. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.